So it's time for a GarageBand quick jam about the autoplay feature here in GarageBand on iPad and iPhone. So I left my phone here to do its automatic thing, but apparently it needs me to press a few buttons. So let's go. So what is autoplay here in GarageBand iOS on the iPhone and the iPad? Well, many of our touch instruments like this guitar have an option in the top here where we can change between notes and chords. And if we select the chords option, we have a dial here where we can dial in an autoplay setting between one and four. And then when we go back to our main instrument page, we can tap on any of these chords and it will play a riff based on that particular chord. Let's try it now. Very cool. Now the instruments which support autoplay, and they all use it in a very similar way, are our strings, our bass, our guitar, and our world instruments. And now our keyboard also supports autoplay, but that has some additional features. So we'll dive in and take a look at all of these now. So let's now use strings as an example here. But as I mentioned, you can use bass, guitar, and our world instruments as well, and they all work the same. They all have a dial in the top right here that when we tap on it, we can go between notes and chords. And if we select chords, we have an option here to dial in an autoplay setting. So let's dial this one around to number four now. And when we go back to our main instrument view and we tap with one finger, we can get a sound here in GarageBand. <laughs> And as I mentioned, if we dial this autoplay to a different number, we get a different sound. And if you want to find out more about strings and how to play the strings, check out my strings quick jam video. And as well as our four different autoplay melodies and rhythms that we have, we can also change up the rhythm and melody by tapping with two or three fingers. So let's demonstrate that now. We'll tap with one finger. Now let's tap with two fingers. And finally with three fingers. So we go from a quite simple arrangement up to a more complex arrangement. So this means that we have 12 different arrangements with our four autoplays and using one, two or three fingers. So there's a heap of variety using autoplay here in GarageBand. Now we record autoplay just like we record any other instrument, but the tip here is to tap on the chord you want to play just before the new bar. So let's record four bars of autoplay strings here and I'll demonstrate what I mean. So you'll notice that every time I was about to reach a new bar, I tapped another chord. That way it triggered it and made sure it selected that chord for the next bar. And if we tap our track view icon, we come back here and you can see that all of those arrangements have been put into our MIDI screen now. And if we wanted to, we can come in here and edit these to actually change up the autoplay. So we've got even more flexibility here to change the sound. If you want to learn all about editing, you can of course check out my editing GarageBand Quick Jam. Now our default key signature here in GarageBand is C major, but we can of course change that. So let's tap in the top right here on this settings a little spanner and scroll down to key signature and we can now change this to any other key signature that we like. Let's change this now to E minor. And you'll see that our chords have now been changed to be complementary chords for the key signature of E minor. But of course, if we're not happy with those chords, we can once again tap on our options, go to edit chords, and now we can edit any of these chords and change them to another chord here using these sliders. And once again, if you want to learn how to edit chords, you can check out the edit chords quick jam. Finally, let's take a look at the keyboard because we have a couple of different options here and to get to it is slightly different. So first of all, to get to our chords mode on a keyboard, we tap over here on the right and this engages our keyboard chords function. We then tap on our settings at the top here and we can actually use our autoplay to dial in an autoplay setting. And when we now go back to our keyboard, you'll notice that instead of just having one bar here, we have three separate bars. Now, if we tap on a bar at the top here, we are going to get the full treble and bass arrangement on our keyboard like this. If we just want the treble part of the keyboard, we tap in the middle here. And for just the bass, we tap at the bottom. 
So we get some great flexibility with the autoplay on our keyboards depending whether we want a full arrangement or just our treble or our bass parts. And the autoplay function is available for almost all of our keyboards. Just go to your chords option into settings and you'll be able to access your autoplay. And there you go, the very cool autoplay function here in GarageBand iOS. If you've got comments, questions or suggestions, you can leave those down below and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks again for watching. Did you know that I have an entire series of GarageBand Quick Jam videos right here on the channel? In fact, there are two of them linked down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right or head on over to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.